Hey guys, welcome to, uh, well, first off, I have finally reached 100 subscribers, and as I said when I was playing with uh, a friend, I believe, 100 subscribers, I start playing Skyrim. So we're doing Skyrim. Now, I've already created my uh, character, I asked on Grim Guy's Discord, and uh, Kid Colt who I'm too lazy to put his uh, channel in the description, <laughs> um, recommended for me to do a warrior. So, here we go, Nord Warrior. Named Thrognir. Now, I also have a few, a bunch of mods installed. Um, mainly like Alternate Start, which I don't think I'm going to use. I'm mainly using it so I have this intro here. But, you'll see them when we get to them. Also, I have Frostfall and that all installed. I'm just not going to turn it on just yet because I have a problem with freezing to death during this opening. I, w I wonder why they didn't really account for that when they made that mod. Because it is really, really easy to freeze to death when you're going down to Helgen. Oh yes, um, I also have a mod that makes it so then all the, uh, the loading screens have bits of lore and quotes and stuff in them rather than just the boring, you know, it's always useful to turn down the difficulty if you're getting attacked and you keep losing. Magic Prince of Madness. And uh, stuff like that. Let me turn on subtitles real quick. Let's see here. It's in display. Oh yeah, here's some, another thing that I have installed is uh, I have the immersive weapons, immersive armors, and this is actually a overhaul for the original opening that um, adds in a couple stuff from the uh, like a couple things from, that were cut and a couple other things like that. Alternate voice lines and such. The leader of the rebellion? Hey, you! Ulfric! You traitor! You're the reason we're here! At least Sovereign Guard will be waiting for What the? Our ancestors. Uh. Sun just attacked Hadvar. I hope that doesn't mess with anything. <laughs> Oh god, I can see him. What hold are you from, horse? White run, the reach, often guard. Hold up, I have to check this. I... No, it's TFC for free cam. What the heck is he fighting? Because there won't be any hold for the empire. No yarrow. Alright, so he's just killing wolves. Come on, Hadvar. Do your thing. Good. Let's get this over with. Look at you. General Tully is the military government. And it looks like the Thalmor are with them. Damn no. I bet they had something to do with this. Sorry, 
See, this opening also has some things like, uh, like Rail Off has extra voice lines. Uh, Lokir has black feet. What the heck? He feels a lot, he's a lot more angry in this. With Juniper batteries mixed in. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. I punched your mother. I do think end of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. You gotta tell them Face we work death. with you. I'm gonna do a flip. Shut up. Out of the cart now. Step towards the block when we call your name. Don't even think about running. Is oh crap, he's not here yet. It has been an honor. Yarl Ulfric. Oh, did he, did he teleport? What the? Lokir of Warkstead. Says right here you are. <laughs> this is a very confusing opening. Oh no. Ouch. Well, uh, I'd like to talk to a ghost. I hope this doesn't break anything. So we here we have Thrognir. I've already created him, so let's go with that. And uh There we go. Mm-hmm. I never noticed how awkward this cutscene is whenever the guy's not actually there. I wonder if something's gonna break and pull him back here. I also have Royal Armory installed, so he should have a different weapon. Um, And restore the peace. There it is again. Nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullio. Give them their last blood. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get the <laughs> Good thing Rike is still here. Because I know for a fact that if they're vanishing, then uh, the game doesn't work. <laughs> like, it literally just breaks. I said next prisoner. 
ओके देव यो आई डोंट लाइक डूइंग दिस विदाउट हेल्पर तुमक Look the size of jet chicken. Oh, that's a cool chicken. Evil chicken. Ah! <laughs> Must escape evil chicken. Whoop! What is that thing? Could the legends be true? I have blur vision. Look at that armor. The balloon, but I. Uh, I'm gonna make my escape. Turn, 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 turn. Turn. Ah, uh, we found him. Oh no. Where's the where is Alduin? Oh there he is. I was going to go for it. Mm. Can't stop ain't got no reason to stop. Got no reason to not go any further. Just better to keep on going and hope that nothing happens. I am going to go with Rayloff because he was actually there. Hadbar's a nerd. He didn't follow us. He was off fighting a wolf for some reason. He was the only one that went off to go fight a wolf. During the opening cutscene, no less. Raylaf sat there and just had a nice chat with everyone. Hadvar was like, "Who? This is gonna run off." It's Gonyar. No doubt, just like the children's stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end times. Let's go and put this. I also have Sky UI installed, so. I won't lie. I really do like that uh, Ulfric kind of follows you this way. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here and just crouch in this wall. Can I have your axe, Rickvard? Ooh, that's a cool axe. So what's Rilof got? Lira Drinker.
Come on, get him! Get him! We won! I'm gonna take his cape, his sword, and his shield. Boots and gloves. Where's the other one? I can't get to them. There they are. Take the key. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking that we're going to go with heavy armor. So I'm actually going to take their armor. The bow. I'm going to leave the helmet. I don't like wearing helmets in Skyrim. Go ahead and favor that. Favor those. That. And... Uh, there it is. Right, let's move. Please, I'm going to blow this scene. Get one of stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, cabbage. See, what I need, you gotta eat, sleep, and drink um, fairly often. Otherwise, you will literally die. Or at least you'll suffer a bunch of damage to your stats and stuff. So, actually gives eating and drinking a purpose. That was a bad enough hit. My character actually felt the need to uh, to hide it to protect uh, uh, the the future or something. I don't remember. Uh, let's see here. Healing wine. Uh, dear God, it's a bucket. Uh, take those bread. Uh, There we go. I am now working at capacity. The barrel. Take those. Um, that. That. Go okay, and take the rabbit, and we're good to move on. Turn it in. Aha, I have stabbed him. Not sure what my plan is after stabbing him. Now, uh, do me a favor. Let me know in the description if you guys think I should turn on Frostfall and all that. I've got it installed. I just don't have it activated right now. Because... It's really annoying, and I don't want to turn it on unless you guys want it on. If you want it on, though, then I'll turn it on. Let's see here. Got a lock pick. Got to pick the lock with the lock pick. So there's always this guy, and then you struggle to take his money. Because his hitbox, for some reason, is pretty much the entire cell. Let's see here. There we go. And. There we go. And we're going to potion. And we're good. Now. Let's head up this way. Because I remember, very specifically, there are a crap ton of people down this hall somewhere. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, yes. He's going to arrive, definitely. If by General Tullius, you mean uh, Ulfric, and by arrive, you mean murder the heck out of you. I think someone just tried to hit me in the spine. Oh! Damn. Damn. Pew! Ow. I appear to have been stabbed. 
Come here. Come on, boy -o. Come on, you can at least die like men. Oh, God! Offer just massacred that dude. That's one hit to the head and he just went down. Like, that was strangely fast. Let's see here. There we go. And this is about the point where it starts being just a normal playthrough of the opening. Whenever... Come on, boyo. Okay. You just cross on over. And once you get down to here, then dragon happens. So you grab these. Now, I'm hoping this isn't the point where it conflicts with the alternate star. I don't think it is. I'm just going to go ahead and leave him behind a little bit. I'll we'll give him a minute to recuperate before we fight arachnophobia. Come on, come on. Ow. Ow, bad spider. I've also got a mod that uh, does increase the amount of uh, kill moves or kill cams you get. So. And that's just because I, I like playing it and it feeling really cinematic. Even though I'm wearing a skirt. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Aha. Whew. They call me Spider-Man. Not because I um, have powers. But because I kill spiders. The very strong prejudice against spiders. Because I do not like spiders. Well, that almost went very badly. Now, do I attack the bear? Yes, I attack the bear. Because why wouldn't I attack the bear? I just bash it with the shield. Hunterborn. I forgot I had that installed. It's gonna manual loot it for now. Now Rayloff is probably ready for me to get out of here. So let's go and I'll go outside and wait if he's not there and we'll be perfectly fine. The enchanted sword, Umbra, is believed to have been destroyed by Prince Atribius Mead aboard the floating island of Umbriel. Each nine horns is governed by a Jarl. The Jarls are largely independent, but swear fealty to Skyrim's High King. So it's basically a Game of Thrones type thing. Okay, let's run. See, so yeah, at one point I was using an ENB with this, but it it didn't look good, and it broke the ENB. So all I got is the sun, and I don't saw the actual ENB. Come on! Yeah. Oh god, lag. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, please. 
please don't crash. I have a good. Stab. I can love it, Peter. I can levitate. So we're gonna take his armor. And we're gonna put away our sword. Take this dude's armor. I mean, not armor, but stuff. And then there's this guy who just has a sword. Which we're gonna take because I want to have it. Let's see here. Should I take his armor? Yes. And these are the same. And I'm going to leave the helmet off for now. And now. This has more damage. So there we go. I'm just going to grab this, 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 uh, that, uh, this, and we're going to sleep until 7 the next morning. The reason I'm doing this is mainly because I don't like traveling around at night in this because I can't see crap. There's nothing wrong with that. Unless it's raining. We'll sleep another hour. You know, give it time to get a um, bit of daylight going. Now, let's see here. My character is very clearly hungry. So, I eat that. Drink alto wine and black bear mead and hopefully not be drunk. I hope he's not drunk. Why are you drunk in this game? It's really annoying. Now we're going to go get our standing stone, and we're going to go um, investigate this mine, and then we'll head on to Riverwood, and I think that's where I'm going to end the episode. So, let's see here. We probably want to go with the warrior stone, because I need those combat skills going. Wait an hour, see if it gets... There we go. Green. One, let's go. No, I didn't. Yeah, I picked a great time. Because... I survived that. And you didn't. Now I'm going to grab the woodcutter's axe over here. And let's head into the mine. Senoritas and senores. Probably senores. No. Let's go. I'm going to take this torch just because I want to have a torch and push this down. Supposed to go all the way down. I'll just push it then. Aha! Perfectly according to plan. Mm, yes, plan work. Ow! Aha! Take that! Ow! Stop it! Being flashy doesn't equal good. So there's that. Let's see. He didn't have much worth taking. And this guy has alcohol. And that's about all. Now, let's head down here into uh, here. 
Let's grab this journal. It says, They've had me working down here for days. It's not the time that's getting to me, though. It's these tunnels. I've told them countless times now to add extra supports to the weak sections of the tunnel. If only we had more of those wooden beams that we reinforced those bronze bottoms. Wait, with those bronze bottoms. Honestly, if I hear the earth shift one more time above my head, I'll be so stressed I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's a note without this mead? And clearly, he did stop drinking for good. Now let's head up here and uh, take all the food. Because, like a hobbit, which I am not, but I was when I was playing D&D with Grim. Second breakfast. Third breakfast very important. If second breakfast is important, then third breakfast is a sacred pastime. Come on. Come on. There we go. That guy is about to start climbing a waterfall. Now let's level up. I think... I'm going to put this into stamina. And we're going to level up smithing. So I can craft me some armor and weapons. And get this. There we go. The way I used to do that was literally just back up against the wall. Flip that switch, run onto the bridge, and let it throw me up there. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Shark bait. Wah. Let's see here. Let's grab the, the mine key, that, and that, and throw up in the star. I am Skeletor, and my name is Jose. Alright, now we've got that. Uh, nothing in there. Now let's take the coin purse. Found a toilet. Come on. Oh. Oh, yeah, we did that. Now let's take his bandana, his circlet, pickaxe, and that. I don't think we got noticed, so let's grab the grab the stuff. And Use the crafting or the forging table. Let's see that. There's a regal hunting. Um, there's the earrings, hinges. Um, let's see here. Engraved. Huh. That's weird. Let's see here. When to get one of the brigand harnesses, or uh, no, how am the mail is too light? Um, hmm. something, something useful. I have to find it. Um. Yeah, I don't know everything I have. I'll just go with what I get. Now, let's head on up here. And, um... Take care of this idiot who didn't notice me killing people down there. Come on. Ooh. That almost hit me. That almost hit me, too. They keep trying to hit me. Why do they keep trying to hit me? Oh. Haha. I have cover. Ow. Can't believe you hit me. Why would you hit me? It's not like I'm doing anything. I'm just doing my job. Oh. Uh -huh. My part. 
Uh, alcohol, alcohol. Go in here, let's pick up that. Uh, all of this. There's this chest. You can open and take that. It was going to run down here. And loot that, take that, open that. Uh, fiddle around with this, and it's not going to open on the first try, of course it's not. And then we're going to take that and go like that. And there we go. Perfect window, senor. And let's just get you on through there. Come on. Come on. Well, you're not going through there. And we're going to be right outside of Riverwood. I do not know why I'm talking like this. Friends of the Yards of Falkreath, Hellmarch, and the Pale made by houses. A successful power attack has a chance to stagger an opponent who's not blocking. Unless you have everyone chair, in which case every hit uh, staggers. No. I do plan on joining the companions, but I want you guys to go and uh, let me know what you guys want from the guilds and such. Like, do you want me to join the Dawn Guard? Do you want me to join the uh, the Volcahara of Vampires? Uh, you want me to join uh, uh, Thieves Guild? Dark Brotherhood or Kill the Dark Brotherhood? Um, you know, stuff like that. You're like 12, shut up. I'm going to take most of this. We're going to leave the boots. Take more of this and leave the boots still. A dragon attacked and destroyed it. Riddle and I escaped together. It was a dragon. Riddle will tell you the same thing. Dealt with interest? Now, I have this almost down to an exact science. If I maneuver my way over these rocks and through the river, and then go up here to the right and into this log, then there is a treasure chest. Also, supposedly, foxes actually will lead you to stuff, so let's follow this and see if it actually takes me anywhere. I don't think they're actually going to take me anywhere, but... Here. I don't think he's trying to lead me in words. Ah! 
I got tired of this bull crap. They call me the hop, the hop rock glide boy. Probably. Now. Let's see here. I don't know how long this episode has been going for. You know, we'll pop inside um, the Riverwood Inn. Um, I'll grab uh, a room. I feel like Yakko. Uh, hello, nurse. <laughs> and we'll just step inside. Now, there's a very small chance that this might crash my game for some reason. I don't know why I sl why uh, ends do that, but let's go in. There's also an immersive music or immersive sounds overhaul thing they have. So here we are. It's at the Riverwood Inn. Orgnar. You remind me of Shrek, but depressed. Dear. So, go over to Delphine. We're in a, we're in a room. We're a I was there. Okay, you don't know crap. Now, one of the people... Our one of my follower mods I haven't saw is Recorder, who is right here. We will talk to her next episode. But for now, that's not my bed. This is my bed. For now, we sleep until about right about there, there. Now, in the description, do me a favor. Please do let me know how long you want these episodes to be. Like, I'm shooting for a bit of a shorter episode this time, but let me know if you want something longer. Or if it doesn't matter or anything. And, uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed the first episode of, uh, Let's Play Skyrim. And, um, well, have a good one. Adios.